Mother. What? Don't hang up. I'm going to call another number. Hang on. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to do all the talking. Unless I need you to say something, I'll ask you a question, okay? Well, Wendy just told me your last name, but I forgot to write it down. Pulp. P-U-L-P. C-U-L-P, right? P-U-L-P. Yeah. What'd Wendy say about it? Oh, nothing. Tell me. Oh, she just thought I was checking up on her stuff. What do you mean? Because she was the one taking my money before. What'd she say about the aide getting $100 a day? She didn't say nothing. Well, that's not good. That's a lot of money. Yeah, tell me about it. All right. Don't hang up. All right. Thank you for calling Pathfinder Bank, your trusted local banking partner. Your call is important to us. Please stay on the line and we'll connect you to the next available representative who will be happy to assist you. You are the first caller in the queue. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Pathfinder Bank. This is Jordan. How can I help you today? Yes, ma'am. Um, Mom, are you on the phone? Are you on the phone? Hello? Hello? Is this mother? Yeah. Hang on. I don't know why it didn't add the call. Hang on. Thank you. Your trusted local banking partner. Mother, are you there? Please stay on the line. It will connect you to the next don't hang up. representative who will be happy to assist you. You are the second caller in the queue. Thank you for calling Pathfinder Bank. This is Dominique. How can I help you? Yes. Uh, what location are you at? This is the contact center. So you're not at a physical bank in Oswego, New York? I am not. I can send you to one if you'd like. No, no, no. Okay, so what's going to happening here is my mother is on the line with us. She's 82 okay. years old, okay? Her name is Nora Jeanette Lafave. She is the account holder. I live out of state. I'm going to give you the shortest version possible. We have a sister that doesn't speak to anybody in the family who took my mother to the bank a year ago and made her own account. She's been transferring funds, blah, blah, blah. I have another sister who I get along with that another sister, three of us, are, don't agree with it. But anyway, one of them took my mother to the bank a month ago and got a POA and got it all changed over. Well, the first sister went back last week. All of us live out of state. But anyway, she went back last week and now got it all done. We don't know what she did, but she's telling people that the state took over my mother's account. My mother is on the line. She's unaware of this. Her aide that my sister hired to help her three days a week just took her to the bank not even an hour ago and took out $100 and told her it's for today only, which is not even three hours of work. So we want to see if somebody's on this account, if the state took it over, my mother's on the line to give you uh, permission to speak to me because I ask the better questions than she does. Your mother's meeting me. Bromley. And do you give me permission to speak with your daughter? Yes. All right. Okay. So I do see that there is a checking account that is open. It is a sole account, which means, Nora, you are the only one on it. 
Okay. So the state did not take over the account? They did not take over the account. So nobody else is on it? Correct. There is no POA. There's no rep payee, nothing like that. Okay. Do you see a $100 withdrawal for today? I took it out this morning. There was a $100 withdrawal, yes. Okay. Okay. Should I tell her she's fired? No, Mom, this is the bank. She's not going to help with that part of it, but... No, I know that. Um, so there's there's no, rec no paperwork, nothing, that the state has taken over this account? There isn't... So far, I can actually transfer you over to our security department and see if they've received anything. Oh, no, it would have already happened. I mean, she actually wrote my other sister a letter in the mail saying that the state took it over. So this, oh my okay. it's not even, there's nothing on there except my mother. Correct. It is a sole account. So if she wanted to go to the bank right now and take out everything she could on her own. She could, absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mother, don't hang up. Yeah. I know. I shouldn't give her $100 for cleaning the night. She didn't, you know, it was only here like two hours. Please leave your message for eight one three six three. What? Now you got my cell phone. I know. You didn't answer it earlier. Oh. Hang on. Don't hang up. Hello, right back. Jenny. Uh -huh. Yeah. I got mom on the line and we called the bank the 1-800 number. The lady is not at a physical bank. She looked up the account and said that mom is the only one on it. No one has taken it over. No state is involved that she can see. And she was baffled by the whole idea of it. <laughs> so, so when he's just a fucking liar as usual. Okay. See if, if you had Wendy blocked or she, do you think you had her blocked? Or does she have you blocked? Because you can unblock her and call her on extra call, and then we'll all four be on here. I have this all on video, on recorder, talking to the bank. I don't have any blocked on this phone. All right, call her. Hold on. Let me do the talking. Mom. Yeah. Don't say anything unless I ask you a question, okay? Yeah.
You there? Yeah. Yeah. I went to voicemail. Oh, crud. Unblock her on your other number and call it. Um, hold on. Every day. <laughs> oh, my. Hello. Oh. All right, hold on. I got to call. Hold on. Hello? Wendy. Hello? Can I help you? Is this Wendy? Yes, it is. Okay, I want to have a very cordial conversation without any yelling. So, uh, is it true that the state took over mom's account? Yes. Okay, I just as called as Pathfinder as Bank. Monday. Yeah. I just called Pathfinder Bank. I didn't call your little buddy system bank in Oswego. I called the actual 1-800. They said nobody has taken over mom's account. Nothing with the state, nothing. I just, not yet. I just left Social Security office in Tennessee. That was the next step. So the child protective, child, adult protective told me that the bank is sick of my family going in there and trying to get on the bank account. So the bank took it over right now until child protective or child adult protective takes over. Okay. As of right now, the state doesn't have anything to do with this, correct? And so today, they're doing the paperwork. They told me I had to go to Social Security office. My appointment was today. I just left there. They're doing the paperwork for child pro adult protective to take over mom's account. She said it's in play. We just got to wait for two more letters, one from the doctor and another one from Catholic Charities saying that mom was giving out $900 a month. So two letters they're waiting for. Okay. We have no pro I have no problem with this state taking it over. I agree with it 100%. I just want the facts to be known that if it's said that the state took over, that it actually happened. Well, it was supposed to go happen last week when the the manager at the bank took mom over to the bank. Or, I mean, the bank manager took mom over to Social Security. And they signed the paper over there. But now they got to wait for the actual doctor's note. Because they said, we did an audit. The bank says, we did the audit when Lisa tried getting in there. So saying that Chris and I were stealing money. They got Lisa on tape. Well, they did the audit. We're not taking mom's money. There was one disruption to what you said was a 500. She came back and said, yes, it was for a sweet memorial off Peter's headstone. Yeah. We paid the rest of it so they could have it up there. Well, they did the audit. And nothing is gone out of mom's account. I know that. They just paid 800. Well, yeah. Uh, just okay, I don't. We're, stuck. we're stealing. We're not stealing. Okay, we're listen. Stealing. Let me talk for a second. The problem is, is you made a second account and it looks like you were taking the money. Now, when I went up there, I sent you proof where I wrote Terry and said, I think they're doing the right thing because I thought you were. What they do is on them, not me. My next question is, who's this, who's this Sherry Copeland that I'm getting Mom, from? that's your uh, aide. My other question is, Mom just called concern. She's getting a hundred a day. 
Is she getting a hundred a day or not? Well, it depends. My mom has to a physical therapist, and she has to take her, and she took her to the doctor last week, and it's and she has to work home. She's supposed to work ten hours, twelve hours a week, three, three and three. But if mom had mom had to take her over the bank again to get Jenny off the count, so that was two hours over there when they did another. Okay, three, three and three oh. equals nine. Okay. I know, but last week you just I, said twelve. I took mom to the doctor. Yeah, that's what she's supposed well, to do. I had to give her. I had to give her hundred dollars today because she worked Monday that you didn't pay her, and today the bank has information. Okay, how many hours is that? I don't know. We're not taking care of it. She has to go over to the bank and sign in now. Okay, I'm just telling you. You don't have to get excited. I'm just telling you that the aide told mom that she gets a hundred a day. Is what she told her. No, she gets whatever she works, $20, $20 an hour. So I told the lady at the bank last week when I had to go over there. It depends on the day. Mom has to go to the doctor, then it's longer because, you know, you sit in the doctor's office. Correct, I agree, you go to yes. Go therapy, same thing. Okay. Well, today she worked three hours. She was doing you know, five hours today. Mom, you might be mistaken. Mom, she she probably meant that you were. she was getting paid today for last week. She's no way she's getting 100 a day because that's... No. Thirty dollars, thirty-eight dollars an hour. Well, I gave her a hundred dollars today, so. <laughs> so that was probably for last call. week. Yeah, she get don't get paid every day. Every two days, because they have mom, mom and Sherry got to go over to the bank. She emails the bank manager and tells her, "I'm here at Norris." Then when she leaves, she emails the bank again, so they know we have a paper trail. Okay, the I'm just. Why there was two bank accounts. Billy, the reason why there was two bank accounts is because the lady at the bank, when I first got on the count, said, your mother can go in here and get as much money as she wants out. I said, well, how can we stop that? That's what Kathy Charity told us to do, $100 a week. Well, you have to open the account. When she gets her money, transfer it in yours and pay the bills. That's when they did the audit saying, I'm attached to mom's account like that. There's two counts. We were paying. We were paying. The aide, the aide and my friend Kathy would go over to the bank. The first of the month, mom got $740 to $80. They got her rent check, her $50 phone card, down to bring that money down. So she has her toiletries for the month, you know, all this stuff. When the 1800 came in the third, we transferred to my account to pay the bills, pay the aid Venmo, so we can have a paper trail. That's what the audit came out is my bank my account was mostly mom's bills and the Venmo with the eight now jenny was up there when we were in florida and i didn't have my phone so she got on mom's bank account well she took you off she kicked me off and got on there the bank that there was a new lady there they didn't know and they said nobody's supposed to be on that account we did the audit <laughs> Well, Jenny took mom's paperwork. We can't do any bills. We can't pay the bills because Jenny never took any bills. Now, how is she going to pay the bills if she don't know how to pay the bills? Well, she was so probably working on that. Well, she took the bank took Jenny out there. We had no, we didn't say nothing about it. We don't care. We're done. We're done. We're not getting called liars. We're not paying time. Slow down. Okay, my next question is, we don't need Chris in the background because it's hard to hear with Chris talking. But anyway, I want to talk to you, Wendy. I don't want to talk to Chris. I can't hear three people. Chris, I'm talking to Wendy. Yeah, she's upset right now. I want to speak to Wendy. I'll just have another stroke like I did last week. Wendy, there's no reason to be excited. It's just a conversation. My other question is, while mom's on the phone is, why did you take me off the life insurance a year ago? I did not do it. He, she had Peter on there. She put me on there. Mom has that is a lie. I have a paper with my name on it from 2016 where mom changed it from Peter to me. I wasn't on it. I was, I was on it for a short period of time and it was gone. I did not do it. Mom did last when I was up there in June. Because Peter was still on it, and they told her she had to change it. I don't. It already bounced because they took it out of this account that Jenny opened. So the bank's taking care of it. The aide took the paper over there today for the bank to take care okay, of it. Okay, listen. When I when you and Chris called me, you said 
I changed mom's life insurance when I was up there. Those were your exact words. I can't change it. Mom has to change it. Two people got to be there. I know I that. The you phone. said the words, well, Wendy. You it. said in the background. I wasn't supposed to be on it. I don't care about it. You can be on it. I don't care. Hey. I'm just saying that when listen, you're listen. Down, listen. Why can't you just listen? Down. Did you not I say those words to me? I, I I'm. Know, Billy. You said the words. I don't, I don't need to be on. I don't want mine. That's I'm not the question. I don't care that you don't care that you're not on it. The the answer the the thing is that you said I'm on mom's life insurance. I got it changed when I was up there in April when I did the bank account. That is what you said on the phone. I might have been on it because mom changed it. When we were up there when Peter was on it, mom changed it and put me on it. I said I don't want to be on it. So mom is the one that's talking to the people, not me. I'm not talking to the insurance company. Mom did. You're not listening. Those were your words. Your words were. I don't, really, I don't even know what's going on. I I had that stroke. I can't even think right. I haven't even been working or nothing. And you, now I got Lisa saying all this bullshit on Facebook. You didn't work today? I worked today. That's the only day I worked in three weeks, four weeks now. Okay. You went to Florida. You went to New York. Your health must be pretty I good. Chris with me. Well, I'm just going to tell you, we got a lawyer for getting Lisa and Jenny for her uh, uh, swaying or not. Listen, listen. Here. Listen. Listen. Nobody put your name on Facebook, by the way. And guess what? Your little friends accused Lisa of gambling with mom's money. Lisa's never taken a dime from her mother, so how the hell does she gamble with it? Well, you need to call the bank because the bank has Lisa on video going in there and saying, come on, mom, come on, mom, come on, mom, put me on your account. Three times, that's when they shut the money down. Again, you didn't answer my question. How did Lisa gamble with mom's money? How? I have no idea. I don't talk to nobody. Your friend wrote on Lisa's Facebook that Wendy problem. said, you don't talk to nobody. your mom, Tina, you don't tell Tina everything? Tina wrote, how come you guys are gambling with your mother's money? Where would Tina hear I that? I have no idea. This is the first time I heard of it. You're a liar. We got a lawyer for Lisa. We got a lawyer for Lisa and Jenny. There's domestic care, whatever. I can't even think right now because you guys do not know what's going on with mom's money. Listen, I don't care about that. I'm not talking about that. Did you tell your friend Tina that somebody is gambling with your mother's money? No. I'm going to call Tina next because guess what? I got a screenshot where she wrote, why are you girls gambling with your mother's money? And guess who Tina talks to? You. Mom went in the bank and told the bank manager that my daughter Lisa is a gambler. I do not want her on my account. Who said that? No, I didn't. I didn't say nothing about the gambling with Lisa. Okay, how does Tina know that? Was Tina at the bank? I don't know. Lisa writes on Facebook. She's a gambling. She only have a job. Okay, Wendy. All your friends are writing about Lisa. Lisa's never taken a dime. How's she going to gamble with it if she don't take it? Well, then why is she all of a sudden showing up at the bank when she hasn't helped mom in four friggin' years? I called Lisa to pick mom up at Walmart that she's stranded there, and that one, I can't, I'm busy. Never helped mom. She they took her to Bonnie's. Mom, seven hours to get a blood transfusion. Trans they had to take mom for a blood transfusion. Where was Lisa when we called her to see if she could sit with mom because eight had to go? I agree. I agree with you. I think everybody up there should see her at least once a damn week, but they don't. Well, There's more family members up there than just Lisa. Yeah, and it's funny that someone wrote that no one has anything to do with mom except for what has to do with money. That's funny. When Peter died, Billy and I were up there the first thing on a plane. I spent $800 on a flight. Thank you very much. And your Johnny boy is right. And we only deal with her with money. I have mother. Mom has never given me a dime. I pay for everything when I'm up there with her. Well, the bank is involved, not us. We're done with the money. We're done with everything. The, the protected services is taking over as soon as they get these two letters. It's We're fine with us. Yeah, but you have no problem calling your mother and yelling at her. You have no I'm problem yelling at her. Mom, mom goes I'm over to the gas back. station 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock at night, mom goes to the gas station by buy food and she has 40 kids in her apartment. Now you don't yell at her and yelling at her because of her bank account. You have no problem calling her and yelling at her, and you're saying I'm harassing her. I don't harass my mother ever. ever. How come the age 
was there. The aide was there Monday, and mom says, "I know Jenny. When you Christmas steal my money? She has it on freaking tape." Right when when you, you guys are telling I'll mom, I'm telling because the bank, the aide was there and heard everything. I never stole a dime from mom. I was on her account for it. one fucking day, and I got this well, on her account. I'm not on her account. You were not on her account. account. You were. You were. You were. You were. Yes, and they had an audit. They, we weren't stealing mom's money. I didn't say we were stealing it. I said it was coming out from one account to another. Mom has seven dollars in her account. Seven dollars. Yeah. yeah. So you know why? Because Jenny took the money. No, getting it. It was because of life insurance. It was life insurance. No, I didn't take any money. I gave my mother money because she didn't have any. What I got my point? own money. Thank you very much. What's your point? The point is, is that you guys say shit that isn't even true. You guys are freaking making my mother stressed out because Wendy calls her and yells at her. She doesn't. I don't call her. my mother and yell at her. Okay. She doesn't. Okay. She doesn't have to yell at her. Okay, Chris, okay. you think you know everything. You're Are Mr. You sure? Goody Two Shoes all of a sudden. Well, why don't you tell yeah, Wendy how you put your? Why don't you tell Wendy why Jenny stopped going to do laundry at your house when you guys lived in Phoenix? Because you put your hand down her pants, you pervert. Why don't you go tell Wendy? Your messages. She's got all your messages when you used to write her, you perv. Yeah. I am doing this shit. I gotta get back to work. I gotta get back to work. I have a job to do. Then you try to feel up her pregnant daughter.